Hey guys, so I thought I would read you Little Red Riding Hood this time, and I know a lot of you all have already read this book, or you have at least heard of this book, but I really like the way that the illustrator draws the pictures, and I think you will like it too. Before we get started though, I wanted to remind you about the back of a book. So anytime you see a new book, a book that you haven't read before, you always wanna check out the back of the book first. Usually we'll have some sort of picture that um, describes the story somehow or maybe has a character on the back. And there's always a little um, paragraph or a couple of sentences that summarize the book for you so that you know you can read these couple of sentences to see if you are interested. If you're interested in the back, then you will definitely be interested what's in the story. This one says, Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom and gasped in surprise when she saw her grandma. She looked sort of different. Find out what happens when Little Red Riding Hood talks to a wicked wolf on her way to grandma's cottage with gorgeous illustrations to enjoy again and again. So it tells you a little bit about what's going to happen, but it doesn't give away the whole story. So if you're interested in that, then you would go to read the book. So next time you're at the library, the school library, or at a bookstore, or even at Target or Walmart, and you pick up a book, before you buy it, read the back of the book and see if it's something you would like to read. That's a really good way to find new books and explore new books that you never would have thought you might like it at first. All right, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy in a cottage on the edge of a big forest. Whenever the little girl went outside to play, she wore a beautiful red cloak that her grandma had made for her. It had a big red hood. So everyone called the little girl Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mommy asked her to take a basket of food to Grandma. Grandma isn't feeling well, Mommy explained, and I'm sure she'd love to see you. Grandma lived on the other side of the forest, so Mommy drew a map on a piece of paper so that Little Red Riding Hood wouldn't get lost. And remember, don't talk to any strangers along the way, said Mommy, helping Little Red Riding Hood into her cloak. Little Red Riding Hood took the basket of food and skipped into the forest. I want to pause here and I want you to look at this tree. So normally, trees have lots of green leaves and are full. And we know that that has happened during the summer. But these trees, the branches, are starting to be bare. They have some leaves, but those leaves are brown, red, and orange. But it looks like, if you can tell in the picture, there are a lot of leaves that are falling on the ground. So I want you to use your schema and think about the time that you've seen trees look like that. And what season do you think that would be in? And she's wearing a cloak. So we know that the weather is a little chilly. On the way, Little Red Riding Hood saw some beautiful blue flowers. Grandma might like these, she thought. As she bent down to pick a handful of the flowers, she didn't realize someone else was in the forest. Hello, little girl, said a deep, growly voice. Little Red Riding Hood jumped with fright. A big wolf peered out from behind one of the trees. Oh, hello, replied Little Red Riding Hood, smiling back at the wolf. She had already forgotten her mommy's warning. Where are you going? growled the wolf. I'm visiting my sick grandma, who lives on the other side of the forest, Little Red Riding Hood explained. Ah, what a kind girl you are, smiled the wolf, showing off his razor-sharp teeth. Just then, the wolf's tummy gave a loud, rumbly grumble. What was that? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Just some thunder over the hills, said the sneaky, hungry wolf as he ran away as fast as he could to Grandma's cottage. Do you think it was thunder that was rumbling? I don't think so. The hungry wolf peered through Grandma's window and saw the old lady in bed. 
With a loud howl, the wolf dashed into the cottage and gobbled up Grandma in one large gulp. Then the wolf put on Grandma's spare nightcap and glasses, clambered into her bed, and pulled the quilt up to his chin. Now all he had to do was wait for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. When Little Red Riding Hood reached the cottage, she was surprised to find the front door wide open. Grandma, she called, are you there? I'm in the bedroom, replied the wolf in a strange, wobbly voice. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom and gasped in surprise when she saw her grandma. She looked sort of different. Grandma must be very sick, thought Little Red Riding Hood. I hope it isn't catching. What big eyes you have, Grandma, she said as she went over to the bed. All the better for seeing you with, the wolf replied in the same wobbly voice. Grandma, what big ears you have, Little Red Riding Hood added, moving closer. All the better for hearing you with, said the wolf with a toothy grin. My, what big teeth you have, Grandma, stuttered Little Red Riding Hood. All the better for eating you with. Little Red Riding Hood screamed and tried to run away, but the hungry wolf was too fast. He leaped out of the bed and gobbled her up in a single greedy gulp. Oh no. A passing woodcutter heard Little Red Riding Hood scream and ran into the cottage. When he saw the wolf's enormous belly, he guessed what had happened. He picked up the wolf and shook him hard. Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma flew out of the wolf's mouth. Luckily, they weren't hurt, but they were very cross. Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood, and the woodcutter chased the wolf into the forest and over the, fill, over the hill. The embarrassed wolf never came back, and Little, Riding, Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers again. The end. So does that have the same ending that your Little Red Riding Hood story had? Or do you think that could really happen? Could a person... Um, shake a wolf and people come out. I don't think so. I think that's really silly. But I love the way the artist drew a picture because to me, every page looks like a painting. Like they painted every page, which takes a tremendous amount of talent and patience. And I think every page is beautiful. So you let me know what you thought about this book and let me know which book you want to read next. Talk to you later. Bye.